When I was a kid, I had Star Trek, and one of the coolest aspects of that show is that you had a lot of people who genuinely love science, like for example, my science teacher. They were watching that show and they were discussing whether or not the future is possible. They were discussing whether or not various things that they saw on the episodes were likable. And I guess the only way you can do that is if the showrunners put a lot of soul and attention to detail. And we definitely don't get to see that in Star Wars High Republic. In fact, it's very difficult to even talk about the, the IP. It's very difficult to talk about the franchise when everything is so random, nothing makes sense. It's pretty much how Peter Dinklage says, that, Oh, it's a show about dragons. Doesn't mean it has to make sense. So they really don't care. And this picture is just a nitpicked example of it. But if you actually read the comic books, you'll find just so many examples where everything is stupid and dumbed down and zero attention to the detail. Like, for example, look at this. This is where the main reactor is, right? I mean, imagine... <laughs> Imagine if it actually gets attacked by enemy ships. Why would you have the main reactor into the asshole? Like, wouldn't it make sense that the main reactor would be the most defended? Like, it would have to be in the middle? Now, not to mention, like, why would you even build it here? Like, it, it just takes longer for the energy to go where it's needed. It makes absolutely no sense. And kind of kind of sad, I guess. You know, it's just, as I mentioned before, one example of how they really don't care. It's like they just throw things there and they don't really think about the detail or anything like that. They have no passion and no soul for what they're creating. But this is something you can overlook. What you can't overlook is the lore. And the lore is so bad that they've hired Sargon of Akkad to write for them, I assume, because I can't find any other explanation. So for those of you who don't know, let me explain to you the difference between the Jedi and the Sith in the Star Wars universe. It's kind of like the X-Men, kind of like Charles Xavier's School of Mutants. You have people that have supernatural abilities. They can tap into the Force. And these people can do a lot of damage, not just to them, but to the people around them. I mean, there were Force users that decimated entire cities. So in order to prevent that from happening and not just take out any single Force user Warhammer 40k style... A consensus was reached, and you have the Jedi Order. So this order teaches people to use the Force in a manner that's not harmful for them or the people around them. And in order to do that, you have to do it through meditation, through achieving peace of mind, through calming your emotions. And this is the light side of the Force. And then you have the dark side of the Force. The dark side of the Force is tapping into raw emotion, into raw power, in order to control the Force. And the problem with this is that in order to achieve power into the dark side, you need to channel into some of the most negative emotions. So you need to channel into envy, you need to channel into rage, you need to channel into fury. And the dark side is very addictive and it causes an individual to seek power at the detriment of those around them. So people in the dark side become so powerful, so strong, uh, and everyone around them suffers. Now, there's another aspect of this, and that is that the light side is simply asking the Force for help. It's a symbiosis with the Force. Meanwhile, the dark side for bends the Force to its will. It enslaves the Force. So the problem with this is that the Force is what keeps the universe alive. It, it, without the Force, you have entire planets withering and dying. So... The dark side is more like a virus on the Force. It, it actually hurts the living things that connect us all. And when the Jedi say to bring balance to the Force, they're actually talking about bringing homeostasis to the Force. It's like healing the Force. So eliminating the dark side. That, that's what it means when they say bringing balance to the Force. It doesn't mean what a lot of people who only watch the movies or don't understand the lore, think it means. It doesn't mean like we need to have an equal number of Jedi and an equal number of Sith. It doesn't make any sense. But but here you're having this picture, right? this epitome of, of the High Republic, which proves Sargon right because he, he also didn't understand the lore and made a 
Disgruntled video. Oh my god, I always wanted to say that because that's what game journalists say, right? Disgruntled video criticizing Star Wars uh, and pushing for Sith propaganda. Now, in this video, the Jedi and the Sith are working together. They're buddy buddies, they're friends. And it makes absolutely no sense because, again, like the Sith, they're not entirely cooperative. Like, it, the, the reason. You only have two sits running around is because they're they're not very cooperative. Like they're they're backstabbing, they they seek power for power's sake, they always turn on their master, they don't like to share. I mean it's the way they tap into the energy which manipulates their emotions. It's kinda like um in Green Lantern, when you have the red power ring, like it, it taps into your rage. So you're not going to be a very rational person because you're using that energy in order to do your magic, if it makes sense. So there's very little way you can have like Jedi's and Sith working together and with this like Disney eye and, and kawaii eye princess. It's like, yes, yeah, so let's let's do it. You, you go, girl. You know, it doesn't matter if we're a Sith or a Jedi. We're, we're all women here. So uh, you you go, girl. Let's let, let's do this. Girl power. Yeah. They're butchering the lore. I mean, Chef Ramsay probably isn't as good of a butcher as the writers here. Why are they doing this? I mean, I remember like seeing that whiteboard, uh, which came out from a corporate hellhole meeting where the people from Lucas were talking about making the High Republic and they were actually saying, yeah, let's make Star Wars, but without the war. I mean, recently they even had like the absolute state of Star Wars where they had the cook off. And I'm like, why are you doing this to this IP? What, what has this IP done to you? I wish I could get these writers and ask them. It's like, so show me on this doll where this IP touched you. Because there, there's no reason to be so vindictive about it. Why are you so spiteful to this IP? What, what has it done to you to deserve this? And obviously, I, if, if I go into the comics, like you just do not understand the horror. Like, there, there is a horror that I never thought possible and it's only in this comics. At this point, they should have just made a different IP. But again, like the, if they would have made a different IP, no one would have bought it. The only reason people buy this is because it has the Star Wars logo. That's it. That's the only reason it sells. They are so talentless. They, they have absolutely no idea. Like if I were to be placed in a position to make a great show or a great comic, like let's say you put me in charge of making Warhammer 40k. I don't deserve... To be in charge of making Warhammer 40k. Because I'm not an expert in the lore. I'm not that passionate. But if I was given that opportunity. Do you know what I would do? I would study Warhammer 40k non-stop. I would get all the important books. I would read them religiously. Why? Because it's a great opportunity to actually have a good career and make money. But these people aren't even interested in making money if they put this stuff out. Like they don't understand what the franchise is about. They don't understand what the lore is about. And then they're putting out this garbage. You know, I don't think that when these people stop working, they talk about Star Wars. I, I generally don't think that. I think they talk about socialism and they talk about progressive ideology. They, they're not interested in Star Wars. At least if they are, I, I just don't see it. I, I, it doesn't reflect in their work. But hey, you know, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.